base units, fundamental units. What's the difference? Hello and welcome to Underdog Physics. Fundamental units are also known as base units. They're the same thing. Here they are, the seven base SI units. The unit for mass is the kilogram, for length it's the meter, for time it's the second, amount of substance it's the mole, for temperature it's kelvin, electric current, ampere, or just amp, and for light intensity, the candela, although we don't really use that last one anymore. If a unit of measurement isn't one of these by itself, it's a derived unit. For example, the unit of measurement for force is kilogram meter per second squared, so it's a combination of base units. It just so happens that the unit of measurement for force also has a special name, the newton. This means that a unit of measurement for force could be one newton or one kilogram meter per second squared. Anyway, at A level, you will need to be able to express a unit of measurement in fundamental units, aka base units. In this video, I'll show you how to express the Newton in base units. But before we get into that, I'd like to start with a more trivial example. The area of a rectangle is equal to the width of the rectangle multiplied by the height of the rectangle. And just like the numbers we might use in this equation, whatever's on the left hand side must equal whatever's on the right hand side. This means that our units of measurement for area is equal, or to be proper about this, equivalent, to the units of measurement for width multiplied by the unit of measurement for height. So the unit of measurement for area is equal to meter times meter. You guessed it, meter squared. The units of measurement are combined together just like we combine the numbers together. Another example is speed, which is distance over time, giving a unit of measurement for meter divided by the second, meter per second. It's all coming together. Now where were we? Ah yes, Newton's second law more often than not brings this equation to mind. F equals ma or force equals mass times acceleration. We know that the unit of measurement for force is the Newton. It is a special one after all. And so in the same way we found the unit of measurement for area and speed, the unit of force equals the units of mass multiplied by the units for acceleration. So Newton is equivalent to kilogram multiplied by meter per second squared. Kilogram meter per second squared. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you found this useful. Please do feel free to like, share, subscribe, and suggest any videos you'd like to see in the comments below. Do I say bye? I've never said bye. Bye?